Welcome to Civil Courtify. Download the Android app and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get instant access for all the videos. Also follow us on Facebook as well as Telegram. In this video, we'll be looking at 50 geographical terms important for any exam. This is part 3 and the links for the other parts are available in the description and the comment section below. All right, let's begin. Number 21. Jet streams. Jet streams are fast-flowing, narrow, meandering air currents found in the atmosphere of some planets, including Earth. On Earth, the main jet streams are located near the altitude of the tropopause and are westerly winds flowing west to east. Their paths typically have a meandering shape. Examples of jet streams are polar jet streams, subtropical jet streams and tropical easterly jet streams. Tropical easterly jet streams are important as they help in bringing southwest monsoons to India. Number 22. Antecedent Rivers An antecedent river is a stream that maintains its original course and pattern despite the changes in underlying rock topography. The Himalayan rivers are great examples of antecedent origin. These rivers originated well before the Himalayan region was uplifted. The river Indus, Brahmaputra, Satluj, Kosi and Subansari originated on Tibetan side and now traverse the existing mountain ranges, cutting deep gorges. Number 23. Greenhouse Gases A greenhouse gas is a gas in an atmosphere that absorbs and emits radiation within the thermal infrared range. This process is the fundamental cause of the greenhouse effect. The primary greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere are water vapour, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and ozone. Without greenhouse gases, the average temperature of Earth's surface would be about minus 18 degrees Celsius rather than the present average of 15 degrees Celsius. Number 24. Active, Dormant and Extinct Volcanoes An active volcano is a volcano that has had at least one eruption during the past 10,000 years. An active volcano might be erupting or dormant. Whereas, a dormant volcano is an active volcano that is not erupting but supposed to erupt again in the near future. An extinct volcano is one that did not have any eruption in the last 10,000 years and is not expected to erupt again in a comparable timescale of the future. Number 25. Crater and Dome A volcanic crater is a roughly circular depression in the ground caused by volcanic activity. It is typically a bowl-shaped feature with volcanic eruptions, molten magma and volcanic gases rising from an underground magma chamber until they reach the crater's vent, from where the gases escape into the atmosphere and the magma is erupted as lava. In volcanology, a lava dome or a volcanic dome is a roughly circular mound-shaped protrusion resulting from the slow extrusion of viscous lava from a volcano. The characteristic dome shape is attributed to high viscosity that prevents the lava from flowing very far. Number 26. Glacier A glacier is a large body of ice and snow. It forms because the snow in an area does not melt completely in summer. Each winter, more snow is added, the weight of which creates pressure. This pressure turns the lower parts of the snow into ice. After this happens for many years, the glacier will start growing large. It becomes so heavy that gravity causes the ice to move. It flows downwards like water but very slowly. A glacier only moves about 50 meters or 160 feet per year. New snowfalls replace the parts that flow away. Glaciers are the largest sources of fresh water on the earth. The largest bodies of salt water are the oceans. Number 27. Archipelago An archipelago, sometimes called an island group or island chain, is a chain, cluster or collection of islands or sometimes a sea containing a small number of scattered islands. Archipelagos are often volcanic, forming along island arcs generated by subduction zones or hotspots, but may also be the result of erosion, deposition and land elevation. Some well-known examples are Indonesia, Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, New Zealand, Maldives, Bahamas, Greece, Hawaii, Polynesian Islands and the Azores. Number 28. Lacustrine Plains Lacustrine Plains or Lake Plains are lakes that get filled by incoming sediment. Over time, the water may drain from the lake, leaving the deposited sediments behind. 
This can be caused by natural drainage, evaporation or other geophysical process. The soil of the plain left behind may constitute fertile and productive farmland due to the previous accumulation of lacustrine sediments. In other cases, it may become a wetland or a desert. Examples of lacustrine plains in India are the Kashmir Valley and the Imphal Basin in the Manipur Hills. Number 29. Isohyte an isohyet is a line on a map connecting points having the same amount of rainfall in a given period. Number 30. Cast topography. Cast topography is a landscape formed from the dissolution of soluble rocks such as limestone, dolomite and gypsum. It is characterized by underground drainage systems with sinkholes and caves. It has also been documented for more weathering resistant rocks such as quartzite given the right condition. In cast topography, the subterranean drainage may limit surface water with few to no rivers or lakes. So this is it for this video. The PDF notes for this video are available on the Civil Coursify Android app for free. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, download the Civil Coursify Android app and follow us on Facebook and Telegram. Links are available in the description as well as comment section. Till then, thank you and take care.